Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Averita Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding three topping pizzas using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in McKenzie interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, you are a consultant for a major pizza chain that will be running a promotion where all three topping pizzas will be sold for a fixed price and are trying to understand the costs involved. Given a list of pizza toppings consider all the possible three topping pizzas and print out the total cost of those three toppings sort the results with the highest total cost on the top followed by pizza toppings in ascending order okay break ties by listing the ingredients in alphabetical order starting from the first ingredient followed by the second and third so two things to keep in mind up till this question is that you know the sorting that order by clause that we need to write at the end it should be you know in decreasing manner of total cost and then also increasing manner of you know uh, the combination of pizza toppings however that combination in itself should be arranged in ascending order right so also be careful with the spacing or lack of between each ingredient uh, things to note do not display pizzas where a topping is repeated for example this one right so there should not be any repetition and ingredients must be listed in alphabetical order so we are given a table called pizza toppings with two different columns topic name topping name and ingredient cost and here is, are the examples right so here if you look at it right so if we are uh, taking the combination so three toppings right so chicken extra cheese and pepperoni can be one combination chicken extra cheese sausage can be another you know combination uh, and that is how we need to do and the total cost uh, but before you know going to solve this question there is a very great concept uh, which not a lot of people know uh, which I would like to you know demonstrate here and which are, we are going to use it to make this question very very simple right so basically what we do is like when we do something like hey uh, you know is 2 less than 4 is 2 greater than 4 things like that so you can get boolean values out of it right similarly you can also use comparison operators in strings right so what I'm saying is you know like let me just show you so if I write something like you know return case when apple is let's say greater than amazon right if the these if the apple like the string apple is greater than amazon then you return one else you return zero and end and let me alias this as you know whatever so that you know it, it's not a very big column name so uh what should happen so does apple come after amazon in dictionary yes so obviously apple is greater than amazon string wise right so if i run this it should return one right but if i uh, you know let you know do change this apple less than amazon obviously not so it should return zero right so you see basically you can do comparison of strings now since you know this concept now let's move ahead and let's use this so what we need to do is we only have one table pizza toppings and we need to get you know three topping pizza so what we can do is and we need to take all the possible combination th of three toppings right so basically when whenever you know you listen the word all the possible combinations cross join is usually a very good way to do it so what we can do is from this table called pizza toppings right aliased as p1 let's cross join right let's cross join the same you know table but alias on a different name so pizza toppings alias as p2 again cross join because you know these these two will only give two toppings right so let's cross join to get the third topping pizza toppings alias as p3 right so and let me you know just write return everything so like it is going to return what what we are you know thinking that uh, basically the three different versions of this right so that is what you have all the possible combinations right however this is not exactly what we require we are only firstly we need to get rid of you know th rows like this pepperoni 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 does not make any sense because the question says there should not be any repetition and also these uh, you know this combination should be that you know this in alphabetical order the first topping should come first then the second one and then the third one right so how can we do this remember the concept that i just told you we can make sure that only keep those rows where p1 dot topping 
name is less than p2 dot topping name right and p2 dot topping name is less than p3 dot topping name right so it will make sure that okay the uh, value in the first column is uh, you know comes in alphabetical order before the second column and that comes before the third column now let me run this let's see what we are having so now if you see pepperoni so p s s a and s p right so it will follow that uh, alphabetical thing so pepperoni pineapple and sausage all the three possible combinations so now once we have this then what we can do is we need to concat the values in this topic name topping name column right so what we can do is we need to write concat and then uh, value so p1 dot topping name and there should be commas and no separation right so comma then p2 dot topping name again comma right and then p3 dot topping name and then what we need to do and this should be aliased as pizza right so as pizza and then we need to sum the cost right ingredient costs so we write p1 dot ingredient cost right plus p2 dot ingredient cost plus p3 dot ingredient cost right and that is going to be aliased as total cost right so as total cost okay now let me run this let's see what we are having up till now so you have different combinations so if you look at it so you have alphabetical order of the three toppings and the total cost now the question reads there are two things we need to sort sort by results with the highest total cost so order by total cost in decreasing manner followed by pizza toppings in ascending order as well right so we need to write order by total cost in descending manner and then pizza toppings by in ascending manner so you said actually you don't get confused you know between these two it says break ties by listing the ingredients in alphabetical order so what we are doing is up till now like when we didn't write the order by this entire thing right so up till now if you exclude this thing so we were calculating okay this should all the combinations should be arranged in ascending order and now what we are doing is we are ordering by total cost in descending manner and also by pizza you know all the combination the combine the entire combination in ascending order right so now i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see okay so the highest cost comes first and all that you know uh, wherever there would be tie right so here we have ties right so these are arranged in ascending order and they are also arranged in ascending order by each other by row right so all these three are uh, you know there is a tie so you understand like we need to have what we need to do okay so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, uh, this is solved and this is how we do it again. Yes, somewhat difficult question, right? A somewhat difficult question, but actually what we need to do was firstly, we've tried to find out the all the total three possible combinations, right? That we can get and we made sure uh, we used a trick to basically compare the strings to make sure that, you know, the uh, ingredients are uh, arranged in ascending order. So we kept only those rows. And then we calculate, we concatenated all the topping names, calculated the total cost, ordered by total cost in decreasing manner, and pizza in ascending order. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.